you can tell star quality when you encounter it, but it's very hard to define except by comparison with things that don't have it because it's only when uh, you spend a lot of time with things that don't have star quality that you immediately recognize star quality, which is uh, really almost immediately recognizable. The problem is that it's very, very, very rare, and we, I, keep hoping that we'll find it. So sometimes you substitu I substitute my desire to find star quality for the real thing, so it, it's, yeah, you have to guard against that. The difference between quality and popularity, in my opinion, is longevity. Because it's very, very hard to remain popular for any length of time when it's not sustained by quality. And so uh, I think that in the end, quality uh, does tell. and a long career, which classical music uh, can offer to uh, artists of high quality, is possible because of the quality of their performances, whereas popularity can be ephemeral. Uh, by that I mean it can last a month or six months or two years or five years, but it's very rare that it lasts 25 years without being sustained by quality. We sell artists, or we, we, rather than sell artists, I would say we want to invent, dream up, design opportunities for them. So that uh, you look at, we look at what an artist uh, does well, and we try to find places where what the artist does well is a welcome addition to what is already going on. It doesn't make any sense to uh, try to suggest an artist for an opportunity where the artist's strengths are already covered uh, by, what's, by the existing events in any given place or with any given institution. So we need to find places where there is a particular uh, sympathy or a particular niche that might be available to an artist uh, so that they can do what they do and uh, surprise or reinforce or uh, in some other way create an audience for themselves in each, uh, in each venue. It has, uh, in the end, in the case of an individual performer, it has to come from inside the performer. And what I think our job as artist managers is, is to help the performer find what's inside them and have it uh, work as effectively as possible with the public so that they can communicate their artistic vision in the most powerful and immediate way.